right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so it looks like it's uh, things are heating up, heating up on the spec scene. Um, PlayStation 4 is supposed to be officially announced on the 20th of this month, about 15 days from now. Uh, looks like uh, bits and pieces of the puzzle to the Wii GPU are starting to fit together. Now, Neil Gaff put together a pot uh, to get pictures of the, the Wii U's GPU's die and the CPU, but the CPU ones they haven't gotten yet. They should be getting that in the next day or two. Um, but they got the uh, pictures of the Wii U's die and they've been trying to decipher the horsepower of the GPU based on these pictures. Now, you guys might not have been following that thread, but you should on the NeoGAF. Um, you guys probably saw an article that Eurogamer uh, put up discussing it. Um, the only problem I have with this article is it seems like they kind of uh, put it up there before it was ready to be put up. Or at least the way they're saying their statements in this article is as if they are 100% sure when you look at the article and they admit that they are not. <laughs> so based on this article, uh, they came to the conclusion that the uh, Wii U's GPU is not next gen. But the crazy thing about it is they mentioned right in the article that there are still a lot of unknowns about the GPU. In fact, about 30% of the GPU is still a mystery. Meaning, you can't make that statement yet. The article also states that they believe that the Wii U's uh, GPU has uh, 320 stream processors. Now, by comparison, the Xbox 360 has 240. However, um, the ones in the 360 are old as hell and probably not as efficient. In fact, I don't even think they were even called stream processors back then when the 360 got them. So uh, even though the Wii U doesn't have that much more than the 360, it, has, it does have more and it has presumably better and more efficient um, shaders. Now, uh, people on the GAF are speculating that that missing logic on the Wii U's GPU could, in fact, be uh, more fixed function shaders. And there's probably a pretty good chance of that. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but the 3DS's uh, shaders are actually completely fixed function. And the reason why Nintendo chose this is because they said that it was more stable. Some people seem to be concerned with the amount of uh, shaders on the Wii U's graphics chip, but if it has both fully programmable shaders and fixed function shaders, that's actually going to be pretty good. Um, the fact that Nintendo just stated that they are opened up more facilities for to have their handheld and their home console development within the same house kind of hints at maybe that fixed function part is actually true. One thing that was interesting from the article though that I want to point out is it says that according to Eurogamer, um, Nintendo never actually even told the developers the specs for the system, the benchmarks for the system. They pretty much gave them the kits and let them see what they could do. Um, and the reason why I think that is true is because it explains why so many developers have a different idea about how powerful this system is. If you don't give them the specs, if you don't give them benchmarks and you let them do it themselves, the lazy developers are going to think the thing sucks because they're lazy. The really good developers are going to think, oh, hey, this thing is pretty powerful. And it looks like that's exactly what happened. Have you noticed that the really good, 
well, most of the really good developers that have had hands on with the Wii U like it, and the people that's bashing it, most of them either haven't had that much uh, experience with the hardware or made crappy games anyway, or ugly games anyway. So I think that's actually true. But the die pictures do prove one thing. They prove that what Nintendo and AMD was saying before was true. It's a completely new chip. I told you guys before, they would not be working on this graphics chip for three years if it was a simple die shrink. It's a new chip. You can't really compare it to other chips. I've been trying to tell you guys this before. Now maybe you believe me. I've been seeing some people talking about, oh, that's nothing. That that unknown space, that's that's nothing. That unknown logic, that's nothing special. It can't be. That's just space. Are you guys serious? Nintendo just did a whole interview about how they wanted to make the chip as small as possible, as efficient as possible, and you really honestly think in your brain that they would have 30% of random space just there to do nothing. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. If it's Nintendo's aim to be as small and efficient and save as much power as possible, why would they have a chip with 30% extra space to do nothing. Think about that for a second. 